told you, I am blessed. I don't need you to tell me if I am blessed. I know I am blessed. Yes. Now let me say this to you. When you put your right foot forward and did your best, whatever the outcome, be proud of it. I say when you do your best, whatever the outcome, be God praised. I say I am blessed. Don't look at others and judge yourself. No, no, You look on what you did. Amen. That's right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Yes. He blesses me. Yes. Hallelujah. Listen, I said this yesterday. Let me say it again. Yes. A rich man, a rich boy, a rich young man. Yes. May get a blessing from my father. And him not do nothing with it but just use it. Uh, and <laughs> him can't tell people how much he succeed. That's right. Oh. There's no success in that. No, sir. Well, well, but if you just yes, yes, sir. Uh, yes. one dollar mm. and you get two at the end. Right. Amen. Give God praise. Yeah, amen. Yeah. So you succeed. Yes. All right. If you're a blacksmith yes, sir. and you're hard welding to it, mm. you're going up. But if you just be a blacksmith, you're a blacksmith. Yeah, but no, you're a blacksmith and a welder. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I use to become a father as a blacksmith, all right? Yeah, all right. Who's a blacksmith? Yeah, oh, gosh. Yes. If you're a carpenter, don't keep the nail in the hand of the hammer. Draw the nail in the wood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Listen, yes. listen. Yes. Let me tell you this. There was a young man called David. He get very excited. Yes. Why? Because he's from a shepherd yes. to a king. Yes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Yes, sir. So you give God praise for wherever you find yourself. Yes. As long as you know you did your best. Yes. But I must tell you, I was, I have not. I know I am, I have a lot. Let me say it again. Mr. Yeah. Howard, I have not. But no, I have a lot. Right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You don't know what it is. But hard life really is. Yes. Until you have a shoes. And when you walk in the rain, your foot get wet. Oh Come on, somebody. Yeah. You don't know what it is to put cardboard in your shoes. And hope it don't rain. If you are, if it happened to you, then you know to what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I say somebody yes. will go through the same thing, then you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Here comes rough life. Take me one time that my father threw away his shoes, but the bottom was really good. And I went and take off the bottom and put on my shoes. And I get a uh, shoe polish cover and I take my nail and I stamp something in, in, in there make a grater oh, yeah. and rub it around mm -hmm. you couldn't tell the difference right. when I finish with it right. but it rain yeah. <laughs> 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 it rain <laughs> no more shoes but <laughs> praise the Lord but at least I get a good wear out of it day alright Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh God, I love you, Jesus. So I know what it is to have half a pair of shoes. And now I can't go on what I have. So you see me dressing good and just living my past. But I should be living my past and I live it now. Praise the Lord. I'm not boasting on myself, I'm boasting on who give it to me. Mm. And I thank God for your people. I must tell you guys, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your gift of love. And like I said, anything that you send me some pastor's month money, 
Mais le cadre n'est pas comme MT. Oh gosh. Thank you. But you know something? It helped me fear somebody else. Amen. Yeah, yeah, help me fear somebody else. Yes. Amen. I, I, I listen. Let me say it over this class. Somebody may he listen here and, and know some of me in business. That's right. Now, because you may get somebody who has to come with money. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me say it up front again. This is not because you over the years to make it money. It was enough to give away to everybody. That's right. That's true. My wife wanted to eat tea bone steak too, alright? <laughs> That's the funniest thing. People beg your money to buy tea bone steak and you can't buy it yourself. <laughs> hey, tell the truth, Pastor. <laughs> you know, funny enough, we're not talking the truth. All right, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I thank you guys for blessing me. And the one who come with the idea, God bless her. All right, him. Praise the Lord. How do you give me? I got well received. Because what? Those who give to me will receive a pastor's reward. Look what he has done for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am saying you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Yeah. He saved me, raised me, and look what the Lord has done for me. Right. Turn to Matthew chapter 10. I mean, I want to tell me it's time to stop now, okay? Today's a beautiful day. And for all of you who love the beers, you must come on later today so you can stay. <laughs> Chapter 10, mm -hmm. verse 40. Mm -hmm. He that receive you, receive me. Mm -hmm. I that receive me, receive him that sent me. He that receive a prophet, in the name of a prophet, shall receive a prophet's reward. I that receive a righteous man, in the name of a righteous man, shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever, whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little one a cup of water, only the name of a disciple, where I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Right. But a blessing. Yep. This is real. Amen. But maybe you don't know it is real. So when Jesus says, this little one, this is a figure of speech describing his disciples, all right? Yes. So to receive the disciples' reward, mm -hmm. it will equal value to receive Christ himself. Yes. Okay. The word in the Greek is tam, tam, tabo, tam, tam, mount, tam, tam, mount. Mm -hmm. Mean he equal in value. Yes. All right. So to receive Jesus' disciple, is to receive Jesus. Yes. And to receive Jesus is to receive God who sent him, his Father. Amen. Amen. Now, since the one sent represents the sender, mm. then come down to who are God's ambassadors. Yes. All right. yes. Example. Mm -hmm. If you receive an ambassador, who's on the place of the government of the country, yes. the one who commissioned him, All right, no. an ambassador, enjoyed diplomatic relationship with his country. Yes. Praise the Lord. Be blessing him, bless me. I need to leave your little breathless. I need to show you what it need, what it need to show, and what it means to be a prophet's reward. Yes. Verse 41. You never receive a prophet, in the name of a prophet, to receive a prophet's reward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now let us look into this thing. 
Because you guys need to know that the Jesus, that Jesus, the, the, no, not Jesus, the Jews, the Jews regard the reward of a prophet as the greatest one. Yes. Yes. Why, Pastor? Because why the king will rule in the name of the Lord and a priest minister also in the name of the Lord, the prophet came in the name of the Lord. He came to instruct the king yes. and instruct, hallelujah, the priest. All right. So the prophets consider higher than them all. all right. And this is why what you get when you cater to people, when you cater to a prophet, you get a prophet's reward. Because well, the prophet's reward is the highest one. I'm going to stick to this for a while because I want you to see I'm not begging you for nothing I'm not begging you to bless me praise the Lord I'm not begging for your blessing I'm not trying to influence you to, towards me God doesn't have to be me this message can't be anyone that hear it let me tell you something there was a widow in the Old Testament. A widow God sent Elijah to. Yeah. And this woman, there was Zarephath, a place where everyone was dying. He came and he saw a widow and said to her, Give me a drink of water. Yeah. You want say I only have a little water and some flour yes. to make a cake for me and my son and then we're going to die. All right. All right. So the prophet says to her, yes. give me some water. Yes. Well, she says, okay. And as she walk away, the prophet says, hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, a, wait one minute. Did you say you have flour to make, make a cake? Okay, yeah. We're going to bake me cake first. Well, it's getting serious now. Me tell you, send me a bake a cake and my son heat and me with it after. And you say, well, if you bake a cake and give. You ask me water, and me walk with go get the water. Now you tell me, say, I must bake a cake. Because me tell me, say, I have some flour. Well, she said, okay, you're man of God, and she go bake a cake and give. And she gave him the water. And when she go back into the flower pot, she sees some more flour in there. And for two years, that pot never run out. The flower pot never run out. Every time she go there, you more flour. She gave the prophet to what? Because she gave to the prophet. And I have a story. Get your butt. You well, know what you do is go read it for yourself. In the first King 17, 8 to 16, read it when you have when you make time. Because now you don't have time to read the Bible no more. You have to make time. You see with me? Yes. Alright. Now let me say this. So because me really want you to be blessed. If you give to a prophet, you're gonna receive a prophet's reward. I may explain that to you, right? Yes. You want me to go more? Well, I won't allow Satan to have anything over me. No, not at all. Show me and send it because I want you to bless me. No, no, no. I no. yes. do it because I want you to bless me. Yes. But I tell you if you're blessed, yes. anyone who preach the word, yes, you get the reward. Right. Amen. 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 I mean, want to see you blessed. Yes. Because if you have a good, work, good heart, to our God's minister, you will be blessed. Amen. Because God was say, when you bless them, He will keep bless you, running over, shaking together, yes. press down. Come to Luke six thirty eight. Yes. So now we want to go back to the prophet because we really yes. want to talk about the prophet you are. Uh -huh. If you receive a prophet yes. in the way of a prophet, 
the same reward that the prophets, prophets get, you will get it also. Amen. And so we read it. The story about Elijah following mm -hmm. Elisha. Mm -hmm. In Second Kings we read about Elijah yes. going to be taken up into heaven. Mm -hmm. And Elijah said, I'm following you. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. I mean, no, I'm going on it, but in Second Kings chapter 2, yeah, we can read it. May I have a good time? Is that all right? Okay, Second Kings, chapter 2. You see me really want you to understand that there's a blessing in store for you. If you obey. Listen, you may not be the widow to get the widow might. But your intention, you have a good intention. And God will look at your good intention. Second Kings, chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. I came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elisha said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went to Bethel together. Oh my God. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. You're not skipping, but you need to read it. Yes. Uh, no, you're not write it down, so. Of mm -hmm. time to write it down. Yes. All right. Verse 8. And Elisha took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the water, and they were divided. Tida, 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 and tida. So the two went over on dry land. And it came to pass. They were gone over, but Elisha said unto Elisha, Oh gosh, ask what I shall do for thee before I take it away from thee. Listen, Elijah, he was the prophet of the temple. Yes. Where all the young people them were trained, being trained to be prophets. Okay. And Elisha was his second. Okay? Yes. So he said, Elisha, nobody come with me. He says, the Lord, live it wherever you go, I'm coming. Yes, because he has something in his mind. I want a double portion of your blessing. And I got to be dear to get it. Oh gosh. You know, understand when you say, do that. You must assemble yourself together in the church. Because in the church, many things happen in the church. All right? And it came to pass as they were gone over, Elisha said unto Elisha, What shall I do for thee before I am taken away from thee? And Elisha, nerve, uh, but a nerve in God. I pray thee, let a double portion of that spirit be upon me. Yes. Right. Elisha, whatever you have, more and double it. Right. Right, Some of you are asking God for what you need. Mm -hmm. Me ask God for what I want. Amen. Because I get it more and share it. Amen. Your intention must be right. Yes. Yes. Oh gosh. Right. Yes. When you get your need, you just supply what you want, yes. what you have. Mm -hmm. But when you ask what you want, and anybody can answer this now. That's right. Okay? Amen. All right. Me have a friend, the Danga, oh gosh. Pastor Taylor, his name. Pastor Taylor looked me in the face and said, tell me something. You, when you ask, you ask God for the milk? <laughs> well, some people ask him for the milk and some ask for the cow. Uh -huh. But he asked for the whole word. Uh oh. He wanted the world heard. All right. Stay with me. Praise the Lord. You know, if you want just for yourself, you must ask God for things for others also. So Elisha follow Elijah. He was willing to follow. May I know about you if you're willing to follow? Are you a follower? You can be a good leader unless you become a follower. All right. yes. But there's a reward for you. Yes. If you're a good follower. Yes. No. Do not say anything Think bad about God's preachers. Uh oh. Do not say anything bad about God's preachers. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Amen. Can I say it again? Do not say anything bad about God's preachers. 
is not everybody can dot the high and cross the teeth. But you understand what they're saying? Praise the Lord. People say bad things about me. They say bad things about this church. And they call me Hebrew name. Some people say the church is a drunk church. We hope them don't get a drunk or blessing. Mm -mm. I pray for them that they won't get a drunk or blessing, alright? But do not criticize a preacher or a speaker if he's speaking for God. God will encourage him. Because you, you get the reward. You will get a reward. Say, but I encourage him. Praise the Lord. You know, it's wonderful. And since I make a COVID cause problem, yes. me want to cast my blessing upon two men of this church. Those who always encourage me. Yes. Brother Lewis yes. and Brother Tony Dickens. Yes. Yes. Me want the pastor's blessing to go upon them. Right. Amen. Because they encourage me. Yes. As a matter of fact, we would be singing on today if it wasn't from Mr. Lewis. That's right. Amen. Because I always make a sing and then sing. Yes. But then say, man, you can't sing, man, sing. sing. You know, when I want to all along. Amen. So here I am, brother. Singing. singing. Amen. Brother Tony said, you can't. He always wanted a long time ago. Man, you need to go up on YouTube. Yes. Well, no, I'm on YouTube. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I praise God for you for you, sir. Yes. Amen. And may God kind of bless you. With his choices, blessing. Right. May him boost you. <laughs> with a lot of love and joy yes. for himself and others. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. God use them to boost up my ministry. Yes. Yep. And I give God thanks for them. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you mm. in the palm of his hand. Amen. You and Brother Tony. Yes. I heard a long time ago. That encouragement sweetens labor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. You praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to finish this message. Yes. And I hope you guys have been blessed by this message. Yes. Anyone that helped me, encouraged me, you're a part of my reward. Right. That means if you go up against me, then you're not a part of my reward. All right, now. You praise the Lord. The pastor is supposed to talk about the pulpit. Why not? If you don't tell you how you're going to know. Everyone who encouraged me to keep on keeping on, you have a reward to get. And all will make it difficult for me to charge my office. You have your reward coming. And let me say it. I pray hard for all my enemies who me know. Because you have enemies, you know, you know. But some people tell me that I, I'm your enemy and I hate you. I love you. I love you more than you know. Anyone who seeks to do good, go, do good for me, then God will give do good in your life. Not only me, but all the preachers and the teachers who preach God's word. If you bring them up whether in prayer, you have a blessing coming. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because, listen, let me say this. You need to take your eyes off the dress code. That's right. mm -hmm. Sometimes you must to look past attitudes. Yes. Mm. At times, you must look past the mannerism. Mm -hmm. Other boys are speaking. Yes. Look past him. Look past her. That's right. Why? Not because I'm saying, not because they're not cross them T's and drop their eyes. You say they can't preach. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Praise the Lord. Right. Yeah. Why is this pastor? Because I was in that position yes, once. Sir, but God bless my son David. Right. I hope you listen to this guy and listen to me. Mm -hmm. When he was a little boy, just become a teenager. Yes. In here, so me can't talk. Mm -hmm. Pastor Dylan can't talk. 
And that little boy come to me, look me in the face and say, Dad, now follow them. Right. When the Mexican come to America and can speak okay English, we understand them. Right. To keep on talking about what? Exactly. Yeah. And then, God bless Pastor White. Yes. He come right to me and said, Dylan, you have a problem. So what's the problem? You're trying to speak like us. Speak like yourself. And then I get the go. That's right. Be yourself. Amen. So when you may chat part, I may chat it because praise the Lord somebody. Because <laughs> God wants me to talk it. And me even go to America and stuff on the house and introduce the speaker. And I'm going to say, Heal. Walk one. Everybody open their mouth looking. They say, Oh, I'm not in Jamaica. I mean, what's happening? And man, you should have heard them clap. And after this, everything done, then come to me and say, Say it again, say it again. Because right. <laughs> they love to hear Jamaica and speak. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh gosh, I'm so never stop. Yes. I, better, I think I better. Oh no, I can do it. I can do it. Yes, yes. Say yes, I can. Yes, I can. yes you can, Pastor. Attitude. Yes. At times you have to look cross, pass attitudes, and pick sense of the nonsense like Andrew and Robinson. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. You have to look and say, Is this man a prophet? Yes. Is this man a prophet of God to my soul? If he is, God bless you, sir. Receive him, magnify him, magnify his word. Why? So you can get a part of any reward. Yeah. Listen. Let me skip that. Yes. You know what I said? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stay with me. Yes. Me prepare people over and over that hate me. Mm. They don't hate me because of who I am. You mm. hate me for what I am. Yes, sir. Mm. Because I then should be the pastor. That's right. Yes, sir. Oh gosh. Then try to be the pastor and then fail. That's right. So they don't like Pastor Dylan because Pastor Dylan got 29 years and still, still going. And still getting better. Still going. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Because this church was found on a solid foundation. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Not if COVID can't stop it. No. Praise the Lord. COVID trying best to stop it. Yes, but here we are. Mark the the Lord. Amen. Give him praise. Amen. Because he's worthy of our praises. Amen. You know what? I have a lot of pastor friends. Yes, amen. And then call redemption with the praise church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We just have backward little bit because of it. Yes, sir, but God knows. No. Everyone has pastor friends. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all of pastor friends. Yes. The redemption way yes. is a praise church. Yes, amen. If my church should fail, yes. I'm coming to redemption way. Yes. But I just want you to know this. I right. want you to listen to me good. Listen good. Those who judge others by physical attractions or by material influences, which is your welfare, you know, fear yes. to realize that true moral worth is half and cloaked up in humbleness. Right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, because you're, you're, you're big and bad. You think so? You think you think you're big and bad? Listen, I used to be big and bad. Yes. Now look at me now. <laughs> oh gosh! I had one politician friend call me the other day and say, "Boy, you were so busy, you know. You don't laugh much. You don't talk much. But your face, you're talking. And look at you now." God bring me down, yes. so far down, yes. that even people take liberty of me now and get away. <laughs> Gosh. And it's sweet, it feels good, you know. When you hear somebody say bad things about you, you can't laugh. It feels good, because I never didn't know that. Me used to make them know by my face. 
But no. Oh, glory to God. Humbleness is good. Don't you know that the way people treat a Christian is the way they treat Christ? That's right. That's right. That's right. 